Hi, this is Digital Cleaner. I just wanted to give a quick overview of the new mods.bethesda.net site for hosting Skyrim Special Edition mods and also Fallout 4 mods. Um, here I'm looking at uh, Druid Conjuration from one of my favorite authors. Um, you can see here that I've downloaded and favorited it. And if you drill down by clicking, double clicking on it and going into the main page for the mod, um, here you can click Add to Library and not unlike Steam used to be, and then it turns to that so you know you've already got it chosen um, you know tagged for download here is where you rate be sure and rate if you want to keep content coming from your favorite mod authors and moving on into the menu within Skyrim Special Edition which is managed a bit different than the old Skyrim which was on their first splash screen this one's actually in the game menu right here um, which is pretty cool same thing as Fallout 4 now so they're kind of streamlining their uh, making things a little more intuitive amongst their games which is nice I wonder where that's leading anyway so up here you have my library these are the things that I've created um, that I've added so far to the special edition I've created more than that but uh, we'll wait and see where that goes um, as you can see these little icons right here the little air black arrow in the circle and the check um, that means it has been downloaded and that it is enabled. So um, that's the check The check in the circle means it's been enabled. Um, and yeah, so like that. Um, in order to manage these, there's a couple of different ways to manage your mods. You can click on them and you can disable them and then you'll see it's disabled here. Or you can go into this. This is really the main place. You can just uncheck these really fast. Or let's say you want to do them all at once, you go right into these options, you can delete or disable all mods. Now this little footnote about deleting or disabling mods, if you delete mods, it could have some negative repercussions on your save more than enables. I'm not saying that enables are going to get you out of it, but it depends on the mod and what's in it. My mod, for instance, has a lot of scripts, a lot of quests, things going on that may not quite remove through the game um <laughs> being as large and and you know i started out fresh and learned as i went so there's a lot of mistakes that i've been fixing over the last three years and a lot of learning a big learning curve for me so but anyways back to managing things in the low order here let's see that my mod and this mod both have a spell in them on a hood and what this hood does is it stops sunlight from hurting vampires so if both these mods have a hood that stops vampires from being hurt by sunlight only the hood in the bo bottom most mod which in this case is my mod the way it's set up right now in load order will work if you go use the, the hood in this mod it's not going to work so compatibility issues can definitely come up between mods when they try to grab the same object or somebody's mod changed something in the original unchanged version of Skyrim that both mods are trying to access at the same time changing the load order can sometimes make the uh, two mods work together maybe not perfectly but they can work so you know if I wanted to I would change that one down there if I want more want their spell to work because I like their hood better, but I still like everything else in my mod, then everything's going to work fine if that works. And you kind of have to test and go through trying these. That's basically it. So um, It takes a little getting used to using this menu, but not too much. It's pretty intuitive. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's great how you can read about the mods in here. I love it. So if you want to download, let's see, this one is not downloaded yet. I've chosen it on the actual website, but I have to come in here and actually tell it to download. So I'm going to click download, and that was fast. Look how quickly things download. I'm pretty uh, impressed with Bethesda's hosting site here. Anyway, so there you go. Oh yeah, something else to take note of. You can't rate in within this yet. That's either functionality they're not doing yet or whatnot, but like, you can favor it. So, but I can't favor it because it's my own mod. Let's do it. Maybe if I do it from here, yeah. 
Still, I can't do it because it's my mod. Probably this one I'll be able to figure. Yeah, see, there we go. Can't favorite your own mod, apparently. I can't rate this either, so this is not my mod. This is some random mod I just grabbed. But, uh, because I wanted to show these icons and what it was like to download. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's how to manage mods within Skyrim. Uh, special editions game menu. Pretty sweet. Now, uh, when you exit out of the uh, mods menu, so you'll get this message. And sometimes I've had situations where um, when I go to load an old save when I, with all the changes, it'll crash the game and right to desktop. But I think it's resetting itself. So, oh. so just depends. Once again, it depends on what's going on in these mods and how they affect the game. Anyways, I hope that tutorial helped. Um, you know, if there's any questions, put them in the comments below. And uh, I'll do whatever I can to answer those. 